how easy would it be to try and force them? Oh, yeah, it'd be, it'd be extremely easy to force them. You know, that's, um, you know, that's where the balance comes in of needing to get him involved, but also trying to play the quarterback position um, the right way and find the guys that are, you know, open in the progression. Um, but again, make no mistake about it. Like, we got to get him involved. You know, we're our best when he's playing at his best. Um, so that's something we're looking forward to, to doing and uh, just trying to, at the end of the day, we're just trying to win a football game and, and secure a spot in the playoffs. Do you agree that the second half of the season, the passing game has not functioned at the level you personally would like it to function? Um, I mean, I think there's been a couple games where, um, you know, I haven't thrown up my best. And, um, again, you, you wish it was perfect every time you went out. And, um, you know, when you've had success as an offense before, especially in the passing game, and it's not going your way. You're just trying to find all the answers. But... You know, at the end of the day, we're just trying to find ways to execute and, and um, win football games. And, you know, we've been doing that as of late. We're running the ball um, more than we've really ever have. So, again, it's, it's, a, it's a push and pull situation where, again, you can be really good at it and it can help you out or you can continue to find ways to win football games. But that's, that's the, the main thing is winning football games. How are you feeling? If, um, if, if, if Steph is a point of evidence, as Joe Brady said on that way, why do the numbers, why does, is it not a reflection of the numbers? Yeah, I mean, I think sometimes the flow of the game dictates that. Um, defenses, you know, whether it's doubling him or throwing a safety over him or, um, you know, being, being the first reading progressions and just getting off of it um, maybe too quickly. Um, there's a lot of a lot of stuff that goes into it, uh, but again, we're we're looking forward to, to working hard and fixing it, and uh, like I said, win football games. How's he feeling with this? He's, he's been he's been fantastic. You know, he's he's been a true professional about it. Obviously, you know, uh, there's times where he wants the ball, and it's de deservedly so. You know, he's one of the, the best, if not the best, receivers in the game, and you know, he he acquired or he. he he gets a lot of attention from defenses, so um, sometimes it's just how it plays out. But I got to be be better in that aspect too. Can I ask you about your net? Yeah. I'm, Is that okay? You should, you're not, are you affected in any way? No, not know? at all. No. How much can you take from your week four meeting with this team and the defense in particular versus how much they've evolved since then? When it's just the one sample size with Andrew. Yeah, I mean, I think um, personnel-wise, they're they're different than when we played them week four. Obviously, they they've got Ramsey back. I think I'm not sure um, what they've said about Howard. I don't know if he's going this week or not. Um, you know, it sucks to see them lose their their two DNs, Phillips and Chubb. That's a it's a really good young pairing in the league right now. They were playing as good as anybody in the league. So uh, I hate to see them out with injuries. Um, you know, but personnel wise, they're going to be slightly different than, like I said, than what we've seen. And schematically, I think they're just slightly different too. So uh, just trying to get a feel earlier what they're trying to do. Um, if they're going to have to bring different pressures to try to affect the quarterback. Um, and, you know, they just they just played a game where they didn't play too well against a, a really good team. So they're hungry. There's no doubt about that. Uh, big game at home for them. You know, their crowd's going to be rocking. So we're stepping into a very hostile and dangerous situation, you know, with that, you know, when it in comes of in terms of the AFC East on the line. So we got to give everything that we got. You mentioned those differences. You know, you've had so much success against the Dolphins throughout your career. Can you draw on that at all, or is it is it too much in a vacuum to do that? Um, I mean, I think every game's different. You know, each game's got its specific flow, and um, again, just just trying with football games, uh, no matter what it takes. And uh, I've played I've played well against them um, in the past, but it doesn't mean I'm going to play well against them. This week, unless I, you know, prepare well and, and work hard and practice and get on the same page as the receivers, and you know, the five guys up front do their job and the receivers catch the ball, so it takes everybody to do that. So, um, you know, we're 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 looking forward to having a good week of practice and putting our best foot forward. What do you think has stood out in the Torrance in his rookie year? I mean, he stepped right in day one. What do you think has stood out the most with him? Consistency. You know, he's been out there. I think every every single snap, um, which is not easy to do, especially as a rookie. You know, in college, you play 10 to 12 games and maybe a, a bowl game if you're lucky. Um, and now to, to play, you know, to have a full camp preseason where he's kind of battling for a job and then, you know, going into our 17th game of the season, I think he's played every snap on offense, which is 
incredibly tough to do. You know, he's a tough kid. He's smart. He does things the right way. He cares about his teammates. Um, but he's been super consistent all year long. Josh, you go back to when you guys were 6-6, six six, season on the line. You know, we talked about it for a couple of weeks there. You guys essentially saved your season with the way you've played over the last couple of weeks. And now you have a chance to play for the two seed. How have you done that? Um, I mean, we've just kind of taken the mindset of it's that we've been in the playoffs. You know, it's been survive and advance or, or win and go home. And it's no different this week. You know, we don't want to rely on anybody else. Um, we got to, you know, in our minds, it's a, it's a must-win game. You know, we got we to gotta go get this done. And um, there's a hungry team, a team that's really good, that's played very well throughout the season, um, standing in front of us. So we got to do whatever we can. How exciting is it earning the opportunity to play the nationally televised game with this on? Yeah, the, uh, you know, Joe always talks about um, the reward for doing is the opportunity to do more. And that's what we've got in front of us. We've talked about this, you know, for the last five, six weeks now of, in, of you know, how our season can go and what we want to do and what we want to accomplish. And everything what we want to accomplish is still in front of us. Um, but again, it's, it's going to take a, a group effort on all three phases to go get a, a victory on Sunday in a hostile environment. I was expecting knowing that you're, you're the last game, so you'll know exactly what the math is. You could be in before kickoff. How, how does that... How, how might that alter things, or if, if in any way? Um, it, it really doesn't for us. We're we're focused on you know uh, going there and playing playing our best game, and again not relying on anybody else, just ourselves. Do you pay attention to what's happening Saturday at all? Oh, I mean, I personally won't, and again we'll know before that. But again, it doesn't change our. Our mindset. Every time we step on the field, we're trying to win a football game. And then you guys have talked. You specifically talked about being in this playoff mode for a while now. Does that help with a big game like this? That you guys have kind of been in this for weeks now, where it's like gotta win. Gotta yeah. Win I mean, again, I think having the guys that we have in this locker room, the the knowledge, um, the trust, and the love that we have for each other um, is second to none. And you know, we're gonna rely on each other this this Sunday, and we're gonna need, need everybody in this locker room, um, in this facility. You know whether it's training staff, equipment staff, strength staff. We're going to need everybody to go get this done. Do you, do you feel like, given the number of different ways you guys won games, are you heading into the stretch of the season, and the season positive playoffs, less predictable than maybe you were a year ago? Uh, potentially. And again, I think you know James has been running it very well. Um, our line's been you know, blocking their tails off in the run game. They've doing, been doing a great job in the pass game as well. Um, you know, guys are find ways to get open. You talk about, um, you know, Khalil and, and Dalton and, and Gabe and Steph um, and having Jimbo out of the backfield and Dawson coming back the last few weeks. He's been uh, really good in the past game. So, um, again, I think we've got a variety of ways to, to move the ball, but we got to execute and it comes down to me putting the ball where it needs to be. Josh, I recognize they're on the other side of the ball, but what can you say about the leadership that Jordan and Mike have provided this whole organization, not just yeah, I mean, they've been the, the constant here for the last six years. They, they work extremely hard. They care so much about not just this game, uh, but this team, this community here in Buffalo. Uh, it's, it's awesome to be a, be a part of a team that they're on because it, it really, really motivates you. Um, obviously, them having vet leadership, uh, being in the league for quite some time now, um, but also the, the openness and how honest they, they are you know, in regards to their careers and what they want to accomplish, um, you know, it's it's the best I've ever been around, and I'm just you know thankful I can be a part of uh, a team that has them on it. Things took off so much for you and the offense and Joe when he took over that job. Um, over the last couple of games, the passing game hasn't been as effective. What have those conversations been like with Joe? What have you seen from Joe in, in these moments? Yeah, I mean, I, I got to be better. There's there's no doubt about that. Um, you know, I gotta gotta throw it better. I gotta find uh, find the open guys sooner and give them chances to to run after the catch. So um, it's really what what it comes down to is just you know Joe having confidence and calling a play and us having confidence going out there and executing it. You guys have had a lot of fan support in Miami the last couple of trips. You guys have been down there. What would it mean to have that you know Bills fans shout again? Yeah, I mean I I hope we can can make it a big Bills Mafia group down there. Um, you know I know we we travel well and we've done that the last few times we've played in Miami and you know. It's no different this time. Hopefully we can get some, some fans down there and cheering loud for us and uh, trying to cause some problems for them too. Thanks, you won't be.
a magnified degree heat this time? Yeah, yeah. Night game. Um, I'm not sure the weather report. I saw maybe some rain, so uh, we'll adjust accordingly. Thank you, guys.